you're not going to be missing anything, Stu, because before we get into talking about All In 2024, the big announcement came for All In 2025. That's right. It's going to be a Globe Field in Arlington, which is where, or Globe Life Field, where the Texas Rangers play. The About world 40. champion Texas Rangers. Yeah, not for a long time. They're not great. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> but yes. But, yeah, don't even get me started on that series with the Orioles <laughs> last year. But anyway, Tony made the big announcement. So AEW is doing their first stadium show in the United States next year. So that is pretty intriguing. Stu, your thoughts. I mean, other than you're going to have a nice quick trip there. Yeah. Your thoughts on you know, Tony going to, to Globe Life? It's less than three hours from from here to Globe Life Field. There, um, it's interesting. This will be AEW's first pay per view in the Lone Star State, um, and you know, you know, all in. They're you know they're trying to kind of fashion that as their it's their WrestleMania. Um, it is interesting, and and you know there was the tie. Uh, apparently, the Texas Rangers are a client of Tony's analytics company. So you got that tie in, you know, there was, there was the talk, the rumor started that, you know, Tony was thinking about doing a stadium show in Texas. So of course, everybody assumed AT&T stadium globe life is much better. Uh, I think, you know, it's uh what 50, I forget the capacity is 50, 60,000. Uh, they can definitely do globe life field well i'll be i will be interested to see what the major league baseball schedule looks like next year uh, i'm going to assume the rangers will be on the road although that will also be right around all-star time so maybe they catch all-star break i don't know but um and it's it, what's funny is you've got that p that portion of arlington you got at&t stadium you got globe life field and then you have what is now Choctaw Stadium, which is the former Globe Life Park, the former home of the Rangers. Now it's the the UFL team for Dallas. That's their home. And then and Arlington, Arlington High Schools play football there as well. In fact, I did a I did a high school game there a couple years ago with the school I, I used to work with here in Austin, Lake Travis. Um, so it's gonna be that's gonna be big. Obviously, you know, gotta see what the card looks like come July of next year, but Tony has always talked about how well, how much he loves bringing shows to Texas. He gets, always gets great crowds, whether it's in Arlington, in Austin, in El Paso, they've been to the, they've been to the uh, Rio Grande Valley and get good crowds and such. They're wrapped. They just wrapped up this residency at the Esports stadium in Arlington used to be known as the Arlington convention center. Had sold out crowds every week, plus the Ring of Honor tapings there. So I, I don't think Tony's going to have a problem getting, you know, a sellout at at Globe Life. Um, plus, it's got a retractable roof, so they can open it, they can close it, whatever the weather calls for. I suspect it'll be closed. Just it's July in Dallas Fort Worth, so it's going to be hot. Right, but I think it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to look forward to. Um, of course, they got to get through all in coming up in a week. But uh, yeah, then look forward to all in Texas in July of 2025. Yeah, and one thing that really intrigued me about this as well is they also announced that they're planning on going back to Wembley for 2026. So they're gonna so they're gonna take a little break from Wembley and. You know, they, I think they had around, it's right around 50,000 tickets sold this I time believe around. So. And he said, he said London, he did not say Wembley. Oh, uh, that's true. So could it be Craven Cottage where Fulham FC plays? Could it be another, you know, soccer stadium somewhere around there? I mean, I, you would assume it's back to Wembley, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. And I know that they're catching a little flack for not trying to do AT&T, but I, I just don't think trying to put that in a hundred thousand seat stadium is a, a realistic thing to do. It would just be, a, to me, it'd be a terrible business decision. I agree. It's it, it look trying to do a wrestling show, you know, and I've been, I've been to countless events at AT&T stadium. I used to, I used to cover the Cowboys. 
back in the day. And I've been to, I've been to high school championship games and look, I, Texas high school football championship games can get 40 to 50,000 there at at t stadium, which is, it's fun. A wrestling show there. It makes me think back to when, when the, uh, it would be the 20, I'm looking at my little board here. I think it was the 2019 New Japan G1 Climax. They had their first night in Dallas at the American Airlines Center. They only got like five or 6,000. It looked like an empty arena, and that was a fantastic card. Main event was Okada versus Tanahashi. But it looked like an empty stadium and I don't, or an empty arena. I don't think Tony want, wanted to do that with 18 state. AT&T Stadium. That's why I say Globe Life Field is the perfect size. Fifty thousand, he can get fifty thousand. Yeah, it's That'll actually look, it'll look bad. It would look bad at at AT&T Stadium. Yeah, there it lists the capacity of forty thousand three hundred, but I'm sure there'll be you know it's going to be floor seating down there too, so that's yeah. going to jack that number up. But yeah, I think I think that's definitely a doable number. So I, a good decision by Tony to not go crazy and let his ego you know get a hold of him and say ah we got to do it at AT at&t you know it's you got to have a good look and that's it's a really nice stadium too so i don't think anybody's going to be complaining about that plus you got texas live right next door great great place to go get a bite to eat or you know drink whatever they host events they host a lot of mma events there as well um so yeah you got i mean that whole that whole section of arlington like i said it's just a fantastic place to have events. Yep. So we'll see how all in 2025 gets rolling. But looking for high quality custom screen printing in Las Vegas? Look no further than Off Grid Creations. Need a few custom t shirts for a local event, band merchandise, or family reunion? We've got you covered. Large order of uniforms for your staff, sports team, or club? We can handle that too. Our experienced team will work closely with you throughout the entire process from design consultation to final product. Call us at 661 300 1115. That's 661 300 1115. Or visit our website at off gridcreations.com. Get a free consultation today.